What's up, buddies? Welcome to another episode of the Poor Man Road to Glory. Midweek Poor Man Road to Glory. I'm recording this, of course, on transfer deadline day. So we've got a lot of things to cover. We've got something very exciting, of course, in the new patch is available on Xbox. I've played a few games. Uh, I've got some ideas and thoughts about the patch and, and what EA have done to the game, but we'll talk about that when we go into the game. So for the video, we're gonna be talking transfer deadline day stuff. We're gonna be talking new patch and we're gonna be going over the team that I'm going to use again for the start of FUT Champs coming up here. It's identical. I wanna try and get a team built and ready for champs. And as you guys know, then for the midweek, we'll be building up new teams. So I still have that Brazil team that we built last episode, but more importantly, I just wanted to talk about transfer deadlines and then of course the update. So if you guys have missed what year, including in this newest update, we actually released a video on the poor man road to glory i believe i think it was four or five episodes ago where we went over great detail of the actual changes that ea are bringing for us for the update the big one of course is ea have gotten rid of the kickoff boost and we'll talk about it more as i play but we've now played three games of which i have scored 14 goals and i've conceded one goal not a single goal has been from the kickoff now that's from every time I score, I've not conceded after scoring. And then from the kickoff of the game or the 45th minute kickoff, I have also not been able to score. And I've tried to, and my opponents, who don't seem to realize that the kickoff boost has been essentially killed, are trying to as well, but they're not succeeding. So, so far so good on EA's update. I would I would give them major credit on it so far. Um, I think we'll find out really what it's like once we play through our 20 or 30 or maybe even all 40 of our fought champ games this upcoming week weekend but so far so good on um on that update i've seen a lot of people you know freaking out saying oh my god what about the kit thing i thought they were gonna make it so you couldn't see all of that stuff it's going to be coming out as far as i know it's going to be coming out for when um uh when weekend league is out i agree with that being the case i think ea are making it so that it still you still can see your opponent's kits through divisions through the draft through the daily knockout tournament i think that keeps the variety there i think we only really needed it in the ultra competitive weekend league where you can't see whether you're home or away you can't see your opponent's kits at all you see your home kit or your away kit on the field both times all of that stuff needs to happen for weekend league i think keeping everything else relatively casual and relatively um how would you call that fluid where you come up against other people's kits i think that's cool for anything other than weekend league i think the next step and i've said this a million times i want to repeat it now just because we're talking about updates and changes to weekend league i think the next step is ea gets rid of celebrations replays um and any idiotic cutscene that takes up time in champs just have us get through our games every last bit of it you skip the replays everything and you can keep going so it takes instead of 20 minutes a game maybe even 15 minutes or 13 minutes a game so you don't have to deal with people over celebrating and watching every replay to piss you off i think that's the next step um but in terms of the updates so far so good i'm very excited to see how things go during fut champs i'm excited to see how if i get games quicker instead of taking five or ten minutes a game of just having people endlessly quit out if they're not the home team or then they are the home team but they look at your kits and like oh i don't like that he's got leads kits or i don't like that he's got this psg kit or whatever and then they quit out i'm excited to see us just hopefully at least in the americas region be able to get through games a hell of a lot quicker does that mean that i'm probably going to be playing uh, a lot of top 100 monthly players a lot of elite players now um monthly players probably because now they can wear those kits you know and of course even me i dodge people as well if i see someone wearing a top 100 kit you better bet your ass i am uh gentlemanly backing out i am definitely quitting out i'm not playing against that whereas now those people that finish very very high in weekend league can actually use those kits and have fun with those kits and not have to worry about people quitting out on them so you know it's a positive and a negative i'm very interested to see how that works out for me in the weekend league and i'm also interested to see how the kickoff boost being all but gone affects me like me and nep were talking about this last night it's it's interesting i sit there and bitch and moan endlessly about the kickoff i feel like it's it's it was so frustrating grinding 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 breaking down an opponent getting a goal and then 50 to 60 to 70 percent of the time all they have to do even if they've done nothing all game is just run down the field from kickoff and they'll score but 
What I'm interested in is how much do I also depend on the kickoff boost to get me back into games or just get me right back on terms? How many times have I conceded and then run down the field and scored right away again? Or how many times has the 45th or the 90th minute kickoff gone, going into extra time, or the 105th minute kickoff, and I've run and scored and given myself the, the opportunity and then gotten lucky maybe on the other end and blocked a kickoff? So that's the interesting part there, you know? Um how much do i depend on the kickoff boost to give me success and i think a lot of us are going to find that out over the, the over the coming weekend leagues in terms of you know what we depend on and i think that's going to be um very very interesting so there's the team that we'll be taking into the weekend league this is the team of course that we've been using through the daily knockout tournaments as well um I'm very excited for the update there's another thing that i promised you guys as well though i will be doing uh, did i even mention it uh, yet in the episode that we will be doing a draft. So we're talking update. We're going to play a, a cup final. We're going to talk transfer deadlines. I've got uh, Sky Sports transfer deadline day, their page open here uh, on the right. And I think it's the best live uh, transfer deadline day website if you will i mean you get to see obviously the interviews with obama yang you get to see you know all of that stuff like new transfers etc um of course batch y now officially being announced loaned to dortmund you know the cool tweet and uh instagram message from ezil re-signing a deal i would say this now arsenal fans i know you guys are probably super upset you've lost Giroud to chelsea i would say that's the biggest travesty of course for arsenal fans this window but what's the best part for Arsenal fans, are you guys most excited about Aubameyang? Or I feel you should be even more excited about Ozil signing an extension. I, I actually think that shows some sort of plan for the future that Arsenal has. Where, okay, they're not just picking up Aubameyang. They're also re-signing Mezit. Like, I think that's huge. I just want to know, if you're an Arsenal fan, what are you more excited about? Aubameyang or Ozil re-signing? For me, if I was an Arsenal fan, um, I would be more excited about that. So anyways, we've got the transfer deadline day page open as well. Um, the big one so far, obviously Giroud off to Chelsea for what was it? 14 mil, something like that. Alba signing for Arsenal wearing Thierry Henry's old number 14 shirt. That's interesting. Uh, I think that's the first person as well, right? Um, I think he's the first person as well to I'm wear. I'm really happy to be here. And, uh, what a gangster, of course, dude. I can... Uh... I can join Mickey <laughs> in, in this stream, so I'm... Which is cool too, of course. Anyways, I'll let you guys watch that via uh, Sky Sports itself. But yeah, I think there's no one else that's worn the number... Oh, wait, no. Did Walcott? Was it Walcott or the Ox wore number 14? Hmm... I actually think... I think there was someone between Henri and Aubameyang. Damn, it's not as cool then, him wearing that number. I thought for some reason no one other than Henri wore the number 14. Was it Walcott? It was Walcott. Okay, never mind. Never mind then. Yeah, Mishy to Bayern. Uh, he did an awesome tweet, by the way. Uh, I look at this. Look at this tweet from Mishy. Um, where is it? Uh, right here. Look at that. Heard there's a Batman job vacant at Beva Bay. Decided to take over. That's sick, man. What a dope tweet that is. I love it. I love it. Mishy's Mishy's a G. Hopefully, he does really well at uh, at Dortmund. Um, and then comes back to Chelsea and does uh, does bits for them, of course, as well. Anyway, so I'll let you guys know if I see anything as we're doing this recording of, of new signings. Of course, you guys probably know this by now. Mares handed in a transfer request. Um, but I think Leicester just want too much. Uh, as far as we know, and as far as I think you guys may have seen as well there is, I, don't, I just don't think City are interested anymore. I think they offered 60 million plus a player. And I think Leicester rejected it. So I, I don't know. Maybe Mares again. What is this? His second or third uh, transfer request handed in and he might not even move. Um, Very, very interesting. Anyways, in terms of other moves, I don't think there's anything else going on. Um, Something about Daily Blind and Zlatan um, have been at Man U for rehab. A lot of news about Zlatan maybe going to LA. Roma interested in Daily Blind. I don't know if there's anything going to happen there. Um, Maxime Lestien went to Malaga, but that's nothing crazy from Ruben Kazan or is linked to go there. Um, outside of that though, I don't think there's anything massive, right? Laporte got signed for huge money by Man City. Their backline is something like 250 mil. If you consider Mendy, Laporte, Stones, and Walker, I think it's something like 200, um, 250 mil. Yeah, Miguel Ayun did get signed by Sevilla. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. 
it makes it pretty easy links for me, of course, right? You gotta love Miguel Layun. I know he's uh, he has the Mexican nationality, but he's Lebanese by birth um, and by parents. So pretty excited about that. That's pretty sweet. Um, I'd love to get him into a team, even for a little bit of fun. I think that'd be absolutely fantastic. Um, and then other transfers I've missed. Leeds have picked up a couple of, no offense, but nothing players. So nothing too much to comment there. Uh, Bristol City. Yeah, it's all like lower league movements that I've really seen. Um, Thierry Henry defends Olivier Giroud following his move to Arvel's, uh, rivals Chelsea. Ooh, that'd be interesting to see. Um, and then I think that's about it. So we'll keep the transfer deadline uh, open. I think you guys are probably a little bit more interested in me talking about the update. So I think what we'll do is we'll take our squad into um the final and then to finish things off we'll go uh do the draft as well get the draft started and then next episode of course i know you're probably watching this on a thursday in a few hours there's going to be i believe monthly rewards released i will release if possible that monthly rewards video either early early friday or if i get all caught up it might be a saturday upload i know you know most youtubers will be releasing their monthly rewards on thursday friday um but just with the way things are going i'll be looking at signing some sort of a contract with a big organization uh they've essentially been chasing me down for a year and i think we're getting closer and closer to signing things uh and making it all official so if i'm not able to get it up i'll try and I'm not able to get it up. You never want to say that to a girl. Um, but anyways, we'll try and get that sorted out for Saturday. Um, and then Friday, I think we've got the, the league SBCs coming. So a lot of stuff to look forward to, man. Very, very excited about if I'm not able to get it up for an organization. That would be, uh, that would be the next thing. <clears throat> All right. Store that dude in the club. <laughs> I can't believe I said that, dude. Ooh, Okay. A Willem player and 500 coins. That's actually not a bad, uh, not a bad little reward. Let's see, how much are you worth? Okay, a couple hundred coins. Nothing crazy. Ones to watch on Friday as well. Yep, starting. We don't. I mean, I don't, we don't know if it's gonna be officially out or or what the deal is uh, going on there. Bronze player pack. That could be interesting too. Yeah, ones to watch is coming out on Friday as well. So uh, this is kind of like a a middle ground video. We're talking patch update. It's transfer deadline day. All of those moves going on and stuff like that. But things are really gonna get crazy. Essentially, the next upload for the poor man road to glory. Monthly rewards. That's not a good. That's not a bad pack pull at all. Monthly rewards. League SBCs. OTW we will be using a lot of those coins towards otw packs because why not i know a lot of you guys have been asking me like are you going to do what you did last year where you opened like 20 30 40 of the otw packs the answer is yes we're now at the point in our road to glory where i have my dream team that is ready and set up for weekend league from here forward we're going to be doing all the league sbcs doing new squad builders around the cool new league sbcs um doing a bunch of otws buying players from the new team of the weeks for those of you guys that haven't seen the new team of the week i'll show you that real quick as well um it should be out now i don't know if ea would have put it into uh into the store or anything yet wait was that one for 400 no there's a bit of 400 on it okay goodness gracious okay let's do that that's not a bad uh that's not a bad little pack right there and then considering these guys are duplicates i don't even have to look you know that he's going to be 200 coins <clears throat> um all right, so let's go Let's go have a quick look as well at the new team of the week and see if there's anything that we can be interested in. Now, that's the old team of the week. I mean, I guess I could just show you guys this. If EA are delayed, they should already have it in FUT, right? It's time. Team of the week is in packs now, but it doesn't look like they've put it into, uh, into FUT. So let me quickly show you guys as well. That's the new team of the week that we're looking at. Remember? Remember the old troll, but is it Boateng? Look at that beautiful 89 rated Boateng. I'm very interested to see if he's actually available on the market. While you guys are looking at that, let me see if there's any, two minutes in, let's see if there's any Boatangs available and what his price is. No Boatangs yet. I mean, literally, they've been in packs for about three minutes now. Um, but I'd be interested to see what his price is because at his lowest, Team of the Year Bonucci was like 550, 580. There was a moment on Friday, Saturday where Bonucci was in that 550 to 600 range, and you could get him pretty easily for that. Uh, he's now up to 670, 680, 690. So I'd be interested to see a card as god tier as Bonucci at that price, where someone like Boateng is going to be. But Boateng does look like he'd be a fun card to use. You just have to compare his inform to his regular card, see if the stats match up. Cruz could be a fun card to test out. 
Maybe Cruz at some point this week, we do a squad build around him to see how he feels. I know he's super, super slow, but he's got those five-star five star weak foot, incredible stats other than pace as well. Uh, that 89 Dries Mertens would be just a dream to use. I don't think we'd be able to afford him yet. Uh, Di Maria might be affordable. We've got uh, 240K and then about 200K in the... Um, in the Brazil team. So we've got about just about 450k before claiming our gold two rewards, which is 45k plus those three packs. So we've got a lot of stuff to claim. Uh Kostic looks like he could be super fun to use too. Maybe a fun little Serie A squad builder around Kostic. Look at that. 91 pace. I don't even know if you guys can see that. It's so small. 91 pace, 86 dribbling, 81 shooting, 83 passing, 80 physical. Looks like he could be a super, super fun card to use. Uh, Ricardo Caresma, of course, we've used his uh, League SBC card for, what was it, 50, 60 games before he rinsed him through the Dino SBC. So I won't be too worried about that card. Uh, Samu Castileo, if I said his name properly, could be a fun card to test out. Juan Fran looks good as well, 85 rated in form. Viviano, I think I would still go with Sirigu, the 85 rated Sirigu. And then, now, you know what? Ooh, I wonder how much that Naldo is. Oh, sorry, not, but yeah, not Serie A, Bundesliga. My apologies, dudes, for saying Kostic is in the Serie A. God, people literally losing their minds. Jesus, Lord. Chill out, bros. My bad. Yes, he's in the Bundesliga, not the Serie A. You'd think I murdered like a, a baby puppy, by the way my Twitch chat reacted to that. Jesus, Lord. Let's see if Kostic is available. Let's have a quick look here. Naldo's 43k already. So Naldo could fit him right into um into the team. Let's go check out Kostic real quick. Uh wow. Is that what he got boosted up to? That's gotta be what? A third third inform? Second inform? Let's go see. Let's go see. There we go. 80k, 85k. Alright, so he's about 80k right now. Two-star weak foot's kind of horrifying. Uh, four star skills is nice. Great sprint speed acceleration. 82 composure, 76 finishing though. Mm. 82 strength. 76 finishing and 82 composure is a little bit worrisome as a second in form. Specifically that 76 finishing. Bad weak foot, not the greatest finishing. I, I would still be willing to try him out. Could be a fun... Could you could just be a fun wide cam again if you want some sort of card that has 92 cross, like essentially if you want an incredible left winger but you want to use a 4-2-3-1 formation with cams this guy could be an absolutely incredible left cam in 4-2-3-1 or an absolutely incredible left cam in 4 triple two there's another spot that he could do really really well in so maybe not incredible as a central cam definitely not incredible as a striker with that composure and finishing but as a wide cam um fantastic this 84 card is equal to 98 messi are you on drugs with that finishing and composure and and weak foot no they're different cards different cards but i think you could use use him very very well as a left cam for sure so that's an interesting one let's go see um let's go see naldo as well be interested to see what his actual in-game stats look like how much he's going for um so we need to find ourselves a second in form of course he's gonna be well under 100k let's see that's a poor man's mo salah yeah there you go oh oh god i just saw one oh well let's switch over here where is it dude where am there it is my goodness um so plus two defending plus two plus two on pretty much everything his passing gets boosted by three Let's see that what that means in game. High medium work rates isn't great, but I will Oh my god, 99 shot power, 88 long shots. 89 composure as well. I mean, that's a sick card. You just I would personally give this card an anchor. Because he's got 89 standing tackle already, 95 heading accuracy, 86 interceptions, 83 marking isn't amazing, but um with 88 strength, if you give him an anchor. I believe he goes up to 93 strength, 90, 80, either 99 or 95 standing tackle or 94 standing tackle, uh, 93 slide tackle, uh, what would it be? 89 marking, which is decent. 
Uh, 91 interceptions. Oh, you beautiful woman. Thank you for the coffee. Um, uh, what would he go to in terms of sprint speed and acceleration? It's perfect for a defender, especially when you use an anchor or engine or something like that. Because then he goes up to, with an anchor, he goes up to 79 sprint speed and 80 acceleration. I think that's fantastic for a defender. Okay, so with an anchor, he goes up to 98 strength. That's amazing. That's what I would use. And in terms of short passing, is that 80? You could just have some fun with him. He's got 84 free kick accuracy and 99 shot power and 88 long shots. So just for long, like long free kicks, why not test him out? Do a driven free kick from 40 yards? I think we're going to do a squad builder around this guy. Honestly, I think we're going to do a squad builder around him. And then use him for all of our free kicks and see how he plays. He's tall as F as well at 6'6", so he'd be pretty usable. Maybe a Bundesliga squad builder around this guy. I'd be interested to see what his price goes to. Okay, and is there anyone else that I wanted to look at? I mean, Mertens is going to be expensive, so I'm not going to really look at him. That Mertens card is going to be amazing. Don't buy this. Don't buy this. He's an incredible card, and again, with an anchor, would be probably a perfect center back. But that is dumb money. That is idiotic money when you can get... A Bonucci. Oh, his stamina isn't great, but center backs, you don't need to worry about stamina. Honestly. It's a great card, though. It really is. It really is a nice card. Buy it. I can't. I have 242k, man. Did they not touch his acceleration at all? It doesn't look like they touched his acceleration off of his uh, off of his base card. Let's do, uh, let's do this and just do a side-by-side -side comparison real quick. Oh, this might take me a while. Um, ah, we'll get there. I'd like to do a quick, this is a lazy way of doing it, but I'd like to do a side by side. Okay. So, wow. Plus one sprint speed, no acceleration change, plus two standing tackle, plus two marking, plus two sliding, plus two inter plus one interceptions, plus one heading, plus two strength, plus one stamina, plus one composure. Don't buy this card, man. Are you kidding me? He's eight times more expensive than his regular card. Dumb. That's the that's the dumbest purchase of this team of the week. Even if he drops to four or five hundred k, he's not worth it. He'll be four times more expensive than his regular card with pretty much no upgrades. Don't buy it. I know he looks beautiful. I know it's nice to have an inform in your team, but don't buy it, dudes. Don't do it, okay? Don't do it. All right. Anyways, that's the team of the week covered. Let me quickly relist these items that have sold. Uh, or haven't sold this is kind of what we do on the road to glory is i underlist cards and then if they still don't sell we just keep dropping them by 50 until they sell and that's how i clear out the trade pile uh, listed this guy a few times and he doesn't sell so let's just quick sell him screen players are boosted i mean it is the next um uh uh full moon again that gives me an opportunity to say this do not buy screen cards anymore that investment opportunity has been dead since the last time they've been boosted bros Again, I repeat, people telling me, oh my god, Nick, I bought a bunch of 88 Sacos or 81 Sacos for 35k. He's now 88. When do I sell? Um, you don't, because the 88 rated regular gold cards are now cheaper than the boosted 88 Sacco. The whole point of buying screen cards to put into League SBCs or to put into more specifically Icon SBCs is when you could buy them for like 17k when they were 81 rated. And then they got boosted to 88 because the 88 rated cards were 30 or 40k. You're not making any money. You're not doing anything special anymore by buying the boosted screen cards. They're so they're so rare on the market that their prices are more expensive um, boosted than the regular golds. All right. That gives me the opportunity to say that, man. I feel bad if you're someone that bought a bunch of those uh, 81 rated screen cards thinking you're going to make money. <clears throat> it doesn't work anymore. I think the only reason to use screen cards is if you just love the card um, and, and then they get a big boost every once in a while. Like that Parasic is a beautiful card to use. That that position change Parasic that we used in Fatal, um, that I actually got him as a screen boost in the... Was it the semi-final? Or the final of Fatal that we got to use the boosted... Did I use the boosted Parasic against Fuji in the final of Fatal? Or did we use it against... Mav in the semi-final. I can't remember. But anyways, 
that would be maybe the only reason to keep screen cards is if like you love a couple of those cards if you love Sako or you love Parasitch or you love Quadrado or whatever and you just want to have that card super boosted yeah it was against Mab okay my bad okay so this guy again I've listed a bunch of times he's not selling his card is ridiculous unboosted uh, yeah, absolutely and he's position changed so that screen Parasitch is probably the best one to have honestly that card was amazing for me Pulisic is another one yep another fun card to have boosted Pulisic is, is absolutely insane too super fun card Fuji went 40 and 0 again this week dude so to think I kept it to like what was it <laughs> I kept the score line under 10 in the final I'm happy man super happy um super super happy man uh can i check visca's stats before i continue on uh the bosnian dude yeah sure visca's in where the turkish league where is he in the team of the week or is he in last team of the week? yeah i can check i can check him real quick there's another there's a new inform i think this is a new inform this guy right edin edin visca oh shit here we go is that his first inform i believe so dude Three star skills. I don't really use skills anyways, but this also, what about putting together a bot man? Now that we're like about to have fun on the road to glory, I've got so many new squad ideas. What we could have done today is a Bosnian team. That could have been super fun. Bosnia's got incredible players all over the pitch, man. How about this card? 81 composure, 85 finishings. Not bad. It's along the same lines of Alessandrini and, um, and Lozano. 83 stamina. This could be a good card, you know. Mmm. Maybe. There's too many things going on. So the fun squad builders probably are going to be postponed for another couple of episodes again. Because of the monthly rewards. Because, uh, which, the monthly rewards, depending on what players we get, we're going to do fun squad builders around them. Um, but monthly rewards, OTWs, League SBCs. So probably by next week, we'll get back to doing, like, fun squad builders. But yeah, dude, lots of ideas, man. That's the best part about um getting new team of the weeks and new players all the time is just doing super fun squads uh around them okay anyways let's get into are we gonna do the final first test out the uh the update and then do the draft to finish things off mm, yeah let's do that let's do that let, let, let's talk about the final so again or about the update so again 6 10 14 goals scored in three games None of those goals I scored as a kickoff boost. The goal I conceded there was not a kickoff boost. No goals conceded from the kickoff of the game from the 45th minute. We didn't have any games going to extra time. In fact, these were all like rage quits. This was the only game that took, went the entire length. Um, but so far, so good. I, I will say again, EA patching the kickoff boost is fixing one of the big problems but it's fixing one of the many problems right so i'm gonna hold my breath going into the weekend league thinking this is gonna fix everything i'm still going to assume that the server connection is going to be a big issue button delay at least in the americas for me although i have seen in the comments and on twitch and on twitter whenever i say hey guys am i the, uh, like do you guys in europe deal with button delay or is it just a, an american thing or maybe a thing in my area and I get messages endlessly of people saying, dude, I'm in the UK and I get a stupid amount of button, del button delay, etc." Um, so I don't think, I used to think it was maybe just exclusive to the Americas because the American region is so insanely huge. So I have all the chances of coming up in Vancouver against someone in Brazil who's 7,000 kilometers away from me. So you would expect there to be an absolutely horrendous connection. Whereas a lot of the times in, um, you know, in the European regions, you're people playing UK to UK very close to each other, or your worst case scenario, people playing from the UK to France, which is like 300 kilometers away, you know, not a big distance. So I always thought that there wouldn't be a lot of button delay in the European regions, but you guys are saying that there is a lot of button delay even in um um uh, in the uk so interesting interesting there for sure so i i'm excited about the update it's a step in the right direction but i'm still worried of course that there's going to be all of those server issues that i hope ea is working towards this is a very promising step that they're taking of course right actually listening to the community coming up with this update to get rid of the kickoff boost that's all amazing we just hope that they keep it going man I'm American and don't know what a kilometer is. Oh yeah, you're part of the weirdo system in miles. I get it. I get it. Thousand kilometers is 600 miles. You can do that. You can do that. You know, um, 
100 kilometers, 60 miles. You can you can make that uh, calculation from there if you want. All right, cup final time, boys. <clears throat> I think this is the... Based off of kits, this is the guy we played yesterday in the final, isn't it? I mean, okay, if you want the fire kit, go for it. That's a nice kit. Let's see. Is it the exact same guy? It might be. Uh, Deckard gamer tag? I don't think so. No, I think this is someone new. That's a nice little team. That's a nice little setup. So what we'll probably do for this final, because there's no good pack or anything for it. We're using our main team. We're testing it out. Um, uh, we're going to play as normal. If this guy smashes me, then fair play. Um, he gets the win. If by like the 70th or 80th minute, I'm smashing him. Uh, we are going to bottle the game, if that makes any sense, all right? Uh, because there's no pack. There's nothing special from this. There's a, there's a 2,000 coin reward. I get 2,000 coin profits from opening bronze packs for two minutes. So I don't need the 2,000 coins from this. Who knows, right? It's it's like the day before uh, weekend league starts. So for all I know, this guy needs to get himself qualified for the weekend league. So we're just going to play this. We're going to talk about the kickoff boost and stuff. If he beats me fair and square, then cool. Um, if by the end of the game I'm leading, we'll, uh, we'll quote unquote bottle the game. But what, like, just, just have a, have a peek. All right. Have a peek at the way, um, it, it, his team's set up. You see how, like, see how compact the defenders and the, uh, the mids are like, it, it, they're all moving intelligently. Oh, wow. That was not an intelligent pass. I'm about to get countered here. Good tackle. Okay. Good, good interception. Okay. Dino? I'm not going to beat him out. Oh, maybe I am. Okay, that was low driven. I'm... Hmm. That was meant to be low driven. The uh, the second input did not get, get put in, but that's okay. That's all right. Um, I'd love to turn off this stupid-ass background music for the game. Oh, let me pause the music real quick here. There we go. Let's just have the, the purity of the game in the background. Oh, connection freezing up a little bit there. Okay. Too much. Too much. I was trying to... Whoa! Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's let's try let's try and tone it down a little bit here. Let's try and tone it down here a little bit. This guy's defensive setup is strong, man. Oh, how about that dodge? Oh, good defensively so far by this guy. He's got a decent little meta meta Serie A team. Fair play. Barzagli at center back is an interesting one. Never would have really think to use myself at center back. Considering how bad I know I would be as a center back. God bless. side too ah. it's a tight game man we're both defending well i would say which is uh interesting well tried to do the one two with ronaldo but he got boxed out by barzagli it's all right it happens here we go there we go Go. This guy's a very good defender. Um, definitely having trouble breaking him down. That's for sure. Good tackle. Okay. Yes. See, that's a bit silly. 
That that pass back to Dino was covered by his uh, defender, and I still tried to force it. That's a, a great goal kick. Great goal kick. What in the hell? Let's go, Patty Cakes. Okay. Come on. I'm enjoying this game. Gameplay feels clean. Uh, opponent's a good player. Great defender. Relatively... I just... I don't know how to break this guy down. He's so compact defensively. How do you exactly break someone down that's this compact? That ball! Oh! Still gets tackled! Oh my god. What a beautiful bit of play there. Weird. Okay. That's my bad. Poor play. Okay, so this guy definitely lives off the counter, especially with the pacey attackers he have. He has, sorry. He's definitely used to just defending a lot and then hitting people on the counter. Um, so, I think that's why we got to keep this uh, our team on defensive right now. Just manually work, work our team into positions. Okay. Pretty weak pass from Leo. Pretty terrible pass, in fact. I did RBA pass that to Leo, but again, it is his team of the year card. You'd think he'd be able to... <sighs> Dude, this guy... Super good defensively, man. Like, I can't even... get. I, have I had a shot on target? I don't think so. Feels like really good practice for, for champs, though. This is basically the exact type of player you come up against through 40 games. Someone that just makes no mistakes defensively and then tries to hit you on the counter. Oh my god! And Dino does that to break it! Wow! Holy lord! That's what you do when someone does not allow you in. Oh my days, dude. <laughs> okay. All right, Ronaldinho. Take a bow, son. Okay, so here's another kickoff, right? We've had two, We've had one kickoff from the start of the game. For me, there's his kickoff. So, of course, I mean, he kind of screwed that up. He didn't really hold on to possession or anything there. But, um, okay, so Marquisio is dead tired, so I should be able to take advantage of that for a little here. Oh my god, what a save, Donnarumma! Alright, that feel like that should have been 2 nothing, but that's okay. Ooh, that's going to be end of the half, too, if it's a throw-in here, right? Oh no, okay, we'll get the throw-in. I mean, I'm going for the sweat. Oh god, the counter! Ref. Ref, ref, there we go. All right, half time, one nothing lead. This guy's awful. He hasn't had a shot. Uh, have you ever watched Flood Champs before? To think this guy's awful just because he hasn't had a shot means nothing, dude. I've just held a lot of possession. I would say this guy's probably one of the better defenders I've come up against. Absolutely not awful. Um, if you're not patient, this guy will score against you on the counter. Just because I keep someone to no shots. Doesn't mean they're awful, dudes. I would repeat that over and over, but... <clears throat> so what does he have for subs? He's got Zaha, Salah, Martial, Bakayok. Oh my lord. Alright. He's got the meta sub bench. I'm going to keep my team the way it is. Uh, I'm working with co-op as my camera view, dudes. I know it's a little bit zoomed out, but hopefully it allows you guys to see more of the field as it allows me to see more of the field. Alright, so here's his second kickoff. Boom, there you go. Dude, I love it. I love it, man. It's a great chain. Oh, that's a terrible pass. Okay, defensive mistakes are made. That's not good. Let's go. I just, I do love it. What is happening? I don't love what I'm doing as a defender, though. He's going to score now. Oh, come on, Nick. Wake up, dude. Goodness, the passing. Shambles. Okay, that was aimed straight forward, but whatever. 
So was that. <clears throat> Good tackle. Shy, I don't want it to go for it again, man. Good block. Okay, I'm not playing well. I need to sort it out here. Not playing well at all. Why are we taking a touch? Come on. Did I shot that? I'm trying to be a little bit too cute, aren't I? <clears throat> trying to be a little bit too cute. Any other changes in the game either i'm seeing all over twitter people say oh my god passing is so terrible i can't score i can't do this i can't do i don't notice anything different man passing that's a good goal that's fucking annoying um but uh look at this celebration um passing has always been idiotic in my opinion scoring has always been annoying in my opinion you know um so I, I, I really don't see any differences at all. Uh, so let's go Mounier and let's do this. This is going to be a little bit weird, but just give my give myself a few more options here. <clears throat> but so far, so good, man. We'll see. I, I mean, I'm going to have a kickoff boost here. Let's see if I can work the ball into the goal uh, from kickoff. Passing's just been terrible for the last month. Yeah, it, exactly. Like, passing has just been horrendous. For a while this update to me hasn't changed i think that's people like just what is that called again the placebo i think it's literally people just know there's an update they're maybe having a rough day on fifa and just attribute anything on the rough day to being something different with the game that's my opinion anyways on it um you know i don't think the game is any worse or better in any way other than the kickoff is now pretty much gone so watch this look, look at how compact his defense is now, if he defends this terribly, I'll still score. But, it's great work. Boom, easy. So, I just, literally, all I did there was waste possession. Wow. Oh, my God, Leo. Oh, great header. Okay, good work, good work. That was stupid, man. I, for some reason, I thought Cristiano was going to come short. I don't know why I did that. That was silly. I've not played well this final at all. trying to go for an insta pass back to Dino there <clears throat> not sure why Ronaldo's like just making sure he takes touches all right 70th minute Do we just take this to extra time for a bit of fun oh my god gracious man oh my god maybe it is harder to score now holy I, am i playing a god defender or is it just this hard to score in general no because through the first three games i scored a hell of a lot of goals so i think this guy's just an insane defender jeez louise all right let's see what we got here It's a beautiful goal though you gotta say that's a beautiful goal right it's only a one goal lead so we'll see how this guy does for the next five ten minutes if by the end of the game he doesn't get an equalizer uh 
We'll make some stupid pass or something to give it to him. That was lovely. Bonucci, man. That's where that 99 passing comes in. Um, you know? <clears throat> Alright, see what let's see what this guy's made up for the next five five minutes. Five or ten minutes. So there you go. There's the kickoff though. Saved. Or dealt with just fine. But see how, like, it's the tail end of the game and this guy is refusing to come out of his shell? Um, like, he's just basically depending on me to make mistakes instead of, like, trying to take the ball away or push. Like, you're losing 2-1. And to be fair, you could still easily score here. But you're losing 2-1 and you're still playing your, like, super defensive, just counter-attacking play. That's, see, there you go. I mean, hey, why not do that when you make dumb mistakes like that? <clears throat> <clears throat> he's not a good defender just ultra d counter attacking um i don't know i'd give this guy a bit of credit defensively for sure there's that boosted quadrado all right there you go wow man that's that is disappointing. All right. Can he get himself a winner here, dudes? Can he get himself a winner? Can he get himself a winner? Do we send it to extra time if he doesn't? Oh, God. Here you go. Oh, God. Here it comes. Nope. Bottled it. Dude, I, I, I swear to you guys, I passed that up the field. But anyways, whatever. Dino's still in possession is okay. I, I didn't realize it was the 90th minute. Oh my god, Hazard, what a goal. Okay. Uh oh jeez. That whole spiel about bottling the game. I didn't I honest to god didn't realize it was the 90th minute there. I thought there was still plenty of time. What a goal, dude. Uh okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come, 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 score! Come, come and score! Uh ultra attacking. Come, come. Oh no, I'm so bad at defending. Oh my god, the kickoff boost. Oh, no. Score, 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 score. No, idiot. Hold on. Oh, I'm such an ass. Keeper? Here, score. That's awkward. <laughs> You're the Grinch who stole foot champs. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I ju we just won a tournament by accident. <laughs> he tries to win, he loses. When he tries to lose, he wins. Yeah. I am literally the freaking polar opposite of anything that should happen in FIFA. Oh, look at Rio's arms. They look like broken. It's crazy. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we won 2,000 coins? Ah, all right. Well, okay, whatever. My bad, dudes. Dino getting a 9.5 with two goals. Hazard coming on, getting a goal to win it. I feel bad, man. Oh, well. This is the one game I feel bad. I don't know, man. How did this guy score his goals here real quick before we get into uh, before we get into this draft? So we had a miss here with Dino. What was this? Was this anything even worthwhile? Oh, yeah. See, I swear this was low driven. Goodness gracious. What the hell? Anyways, we scored that. His Donnarumma made a save in the 45th minute. This is pretty nice, though. That's a monster save, man. I don't know how he made that save. Holy. Um, okay, then he scored this. What was his goal here? Was it a good goal or was it cheese? 
I mean, that's a little bit insanity. You got, you got, you got to admit that that's a little nuts. Look at this. Just pirouette, doesn't move. Finesse shoots it through two players. Top corner. Oh, oh, oh. what a goal. All right, so we score there. And then what was his goal? This was just a defensive mishap for me. Oh, terrible. That is awful. That is such bad play for me defensively, man. And then we scored by accident in the 90th, man. The fireworks scared the hell out of me. I know. My apo my apologies, dudes. I didn't uh, I didn't mean to scare the hell out of you guys there. Okay, well, uh, we're qualified for champs, I suppose. Let's go get the draft sorted out. See, I don't know, man. I don't feel like doing the draft anymore. This might be one of the last few times that I do the draft for a bit of fun. I just don't think it's worth spending 15,000 coins on it, man. Even if you win the draft, the way player prices are and the way the draft rewards are pretty bad for even when you win it, unless you get the like one in a million gift, which is the 45,000 coins plus the 100k pack or whatever. For the most part, you get pretty much nothing in return. All right, let's, uh, let's go with 4-3-3 attack. You know what? Let's go 4-3-3 defend. Let's actually try and make this a decent draft run. So maybe next episode, we're going to be doing the FUT champ rewards, but maybe we'll have some cool uh, packs to claim as well. This is awkward. Not a single decent player. Um, I'm just going to go Sesk. I don't know, really know why, but want to see if we can get some team of the years, man. A boosted Justin Clivert? That could be pretty fun. have no idea how it would fit him into a setup, but that would be pretty sweet. I know a lot of you guys would be screaming Mo Salah. I'm going to go with a Justin Clivert. Oh, God. 75 composure? Huh. Uh, Chucky Lozano we use all the time. Uh, oh, my God. What are these choices, man? I guess we're going Kareem the Dream for a strong link to the Cristiano Ronaldo Team of the Year card I'm going to get. Oh. Man, the draft sucks. I hate the draft. It's so it's so trash bags. This is gonna be the this is gonna be the lowest possible oh damn. The lowest possible draft. I'm gonna go Casemiro. You'll see why in a bit. Okay, maybe not. Uh and Zonzi. And Zonzi to give Kareem the Dream a link. There we go. Okay. Bro, what is this, man? What even even is this even? Ignores Bale, ignores CR7. Because I want to get their special cards. Are you dumb? If I don't get their special cards, oh well. So be it. Um, the way it is with a shadow would be good, but I have no other Bundesliga players, so I'm going to go Kijair. It's an okay card. Kijair, whatever. Dude, this is, this is going to be the worst. Is Does he have high, high work rates? No, medium, high work rates with a shadow. That's not a bad card. Let's do, uh, let's do that. Okay, team of the year Marcelo at least. No, no team of the year. Oh, Miguel Layun should be at Sevilla. Catalyst, let's go Digne. All right, come on, De Gea, team of the year. What in the hell? Oh, yo, that works out. Okay, can I get any team of the years now, EA Sports? Is this some sort of a cruel joke? It's 2018, man. Where are my team of the years? Okay, we'll get the, the Argentinian donkey himself. This is so awful. This draft hurts my brain. It, me too. Bro, what are these choices?
Just, just give me his team of the year. That's all you got to do. Just give me his team of the year. I'm baffled. I'm baffled how idiotic this is. All right, yeah, I, this might genuinely be the last time I ever play the draft. This is the stupidest thing ever. What? 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 I, what? What is this? Okay, there's a new Di Maria. At least we can test out a new and hell Di Maria. This is the new team of the week, Di Maria. Let's try him out. What are his stats looking like? Seventy-six finishing. God bless. That's gonna be a nightmare. Um. Now I could link him and. Higuain up right away but whatever let's not pretend that we did this is nuts bro this guy has an inform as well the second inform wait does he no he doesn't oh my god he absolutely does not wait does he no Kostic is who I'm thinking of Jesus I made that mistake earlier didn't I yo this guy deserves an inform so we're picking him Wait, does he? No, he doesn't. Bro, what are these? I need a Corona right now. I legit do. I need a drink. Is this real life? We need we need a vote. We we need a vote. We need a vote. We absolutely 100% need a vote here. Is this not the absolute worst draft anyone has ever seen ever in the history? Is this is this the start of is this September 30th? Is this the start of FIFA draft? Not a single blue not a single special anything. You picked it bad. No, I'm trying to get team of the years. What do you mean you picked it bad? Sure, I could have went with a Ronaldo, but I want to try and get a team of the year Ronaldo. The hell? Not a single blue pops up out of, what is that? 23 times five players. Not a single blue. Quick maths. What is that? Wait, wait, hold on. What actually is that even? It's like 200, 200, 250. 100, 100 and something, 100 and quick maths, 120 possible players, something like that. You pick bad. You pick your face. 115 players, something like that. 115 players, not a single blue. That is terrible, man. Nick, you pick bad. I, I can't realize that you're trying to get blues instead of just picking a regular Ronaldo. Okay, maybe you should have went with a bail, but I was trying to get a striker bail. This is, this is so bad. I'm going with you, Mr. Sorensen. Your face represents my feelings for this draft. Well, the world's worst poor man road to glory episode ever. Other than act. Wow, this might, you know what? Actually, just for effect, I'm going to pause the music. This might genuinely be the worst ever poor man road to glory episode in four years of doing the series. FIFA 15, I don't think we've had as bad of an episode. FIFA 16, I don't think we've ever had as bad as an episode. FIFA 17 and 18 so far, I don't think we've had as bad of an episode. I, by accident, won a cup final. In the time of this recording, no new transfers have come in. The update really is not much to talk about other than the kickoff boost being gone. Can confirm that the kickoff boost is gone. And we just completed a 176 rated draft with absolutely no special cards. I probably shouldn't even upload this episode. But anyways, if it is uploaded on YouTube and I'm not just saying goodbye and thank you for watching to nobody other than a few Twitch viewers, um, I promise that next episode will be better. It'll be the monthly rewards, there'll be packs, and from here forward, it should be more interesting than this shithole of an episode. I love you guys! <laughs> Please subscribe and like the video and give me all of the monies through ads.